furnishing for your home. Do you and your partner agree? Contractor Chris McJimsey and DIY expert Camille Normandin have very different styles, so we sent them out on a he said, she said challenge. Okay, like 13 months each. Hey guys, we are here in Midland, Michigan, our annual antiquing trip. So we're here with the family trying to find some treasures for He Said, She Said Challenge for City Line. Oh wow, it's perfect. I like it. Let's All do right. it. Came out of an old grocery store. Exactly. We don't need that. Nope. <laughs> what are we going to use this for, babe? Uh, we'll do it for plants outside. Look at that, plants stand. Yeah. Do you have a five in? I think I got two items for our uh, He Said, She Said Challenge, so come have a look. These beauties. Look at that. Okay, so it's day two, and I'm not really sure if I found what I was looking for, but these might actually work as an end table if I put a gloss top on it, so it's definitely a contender. So these are my pieces I'm going to renovate to make into little side tables. They're a little rough right now, but I think they're going to be beautiful when they're done. So these are going to be my side tables. I better bring them in. He's not going to know what I'm doing. There you have it, the contractor and the designer. So here with their own version of a nightstand, we've got Camille and Chris. different nightstands first before we even start. So Chris's is over here. It's red. This is what he picked up from the antique fair. Very cool. It's a drawer. You put legs on it. I think it's awesome. And then you see the difference uh, with Camille. So really beautiful, um, gorgeous antique. It's got more of maybe a, you know, like a French sort of Provencal look background. It's beautiful. You're, they're both beautiful in their own ways. So we're gonna go through, because I don't know how you guys are working this out. You live together, you're both so different. It's definitely been difficult, but yeah. we're working on it. <laughs> right? I try to win most of the time. So. You should, <laughs> yes, that's the way it should be. Yeah. So we're gonna start with yours, and we're yes. gonna look at um, all the ways you put it together, and we'll look yeah. at the cost breakdown, and we will compare. So your style, how would you describe so your style? I'm a little bit more feminine. I like yeah. things that are light and airy. I love flowers. And this is going to go actually in our guest bedroom in our basement. So it's kind of nice. dark down there, not a lot of space. <clears throat> so I wanted to pick something that's really light and, you know, just gloss that the light can go through. Yes. And just kind of make it a little bit romantic for the bedroom. You know? Oh, well, they love it. The <laughs> audience loves it, right? Um, let's, yeah! Very good. That sort of answers the question as to why you chose this. Like, what is yeah. this? Or what did this start as? So this is a wrought iron plant stand. So it's it would be stand. outside originally. So that's why it's got a little bit of rust. So we definitely, um, when we bring it inside, we definitely want to give it a good sand first. Yes. Get off all of that rust. That's the first step. Yes. And then I'm going in with a coat of primer to seal all that in. Some paints do come with a primer and paint already together, but I just want it to be extra short. Yes. So I did both. Got it. You did the primer first. Wait till that dries. Put yeah. the paint on and all spray. Yeah, exactly. So okay. I usually start upside down. So if you want to really get all those nooks and crannies mm -hmm. under here, start with your primer yeah. and then you want to switch it up. So I usually do two coats of the, um, the, the paint, the, paint. Yeah, the actual paint. I picked a really matte finish. So it's a chalky finish Yes. to get that nice softness. So after yeah. you're done all of that, um, so you see this is the before side, yeah, and then you can, can see the after. It. So you see the difference there. That's the beautiful after. What do you do now to the top to get it looking yes. so gorgeous? So I created a little shadow box. Yeah. So first, I started with cutting pieces of glass. So when you choose your glass pieces, yeah. I wanted to measure the inside. I removed about half an inch to make sure it fits in. Yep. And then the top, I measured one inch extra overhang for your tabletop. Smart. So I called the experts for this. Like, I'm not doing this myself at all. Got it. It's two days Someone ago. else did it, the cutting yeah, of the exactly. glass. Yeah, exactly. You just call the 100%. glass guy, you go and pick it up. Yes. So these are about $15 each to get cut and polished good. on the side. Yeah. Okay, good. So you're done that. You put the bottom one in and you put the flowers first in between. First I'm gonna do, the, yeah, I'll do the flowers first. I'll put it mm -hmm. right here. And you just wanna go and cut. These are just really coming They're off. faux. Yeah, they're faux. 
And yeah, I've got some cute little peonies to start off. So you want to cut this as close as possible to the stem, get it really nice and flat. And then I got a couple leaves. So with your glue gun, just kind oh, of like all place them around. Gun. Yeah. That is and you great. know what's cute about this is that if you want to change it up with the seasons, you yeah. want to do shells, it kind of just comes off. Like the glue gun doesn't stick on this forever. It That's good. sticks enough to like get it on there. Yes. But if you want to switch it up with some nice sentimental items or even sea glass or anything like that. Or in the fall, you're putting leaves. Very you know? nice. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward because yeah. we got to get to Chris's um, demo, but you smush them together, don't exactly. you? Exactly. And then, and I then you these... put them on the table, so you smush them just like that, and then you put them on the table, and what are those these little for? stickies to protect your glass, so you put about three uh, of those, and then you just place them Makes on the sense, top. and then yeah. you get this. Okay, that's what yeah. which is amazing. Okay, Chris, let's talk right. about your more rugged, manly nightstand. Well, my style is the complete opposite of romantic. It's yes. a little rougher around the edges. It's lovely, though. I, I love Art Deco. I love industrial salvage. And this, these steel cabinets here, they just spoke to me. They would have come of an old factory or garage. Yeah. They got cool Art Deco lines. I also like mid-century modern, so I kind of thought by taking, you know, just these square pieces of oak, and the legs, they kind of combine all of those styles. Mm -hmm. They absolutely do. So what goes into making uh, that? So just nice picking thing. up what Camille said, all this stuff is old and dirty. So you really yes. want to give it a really good cleaning, soap, water, mm -hmm. uh, before you paint it. Before we paint it, we want to get into sanding it yes. with like a heavier grit sandpaper. Always wear a mask because a lot of this old paint has uh, lead in it. Yep. So just like a high gloss red paint. I liked how the red looked. So I spray paint it all with red, let that dry. Uh, I use oak here, so these are just pieces of oak. But the trick is to this, I kind of came up with the last minute, is the legs. Didn't know how to make the legs. I ended up buying balusters from uh, Ooh, from like an oak railing. Smart. I thought I was going to make these with a the table saw. I saw these, cut these in half. Yeah. And then uh, after I had um, cut out the top piece, I want to make a couple of holes. So the key is to the bottom to fix the legs is I drilled out four holes in the okay. bottom of the bottom piece and then I drilled through to hold the legs on. Mm -hmm. And then how we put everything together was we actually silicone together. A lot of people don't know that silicone is actually a really great adhesive. Okay. So after I fixed the bottom, I silicone this onto the, uh, the bottom. Yeah. And then I, after I tinted this, I silicone this guy onto the top. I like that how you tinted it too. Like I like that warm color yep. um, of the wood. So I'm just going to give them the final breakdown yep. for yours. It was fifty-eight dollars, so slightly uh, less expensive. Yep. I'm so excited to see your house because is it just divided down the middle? <laughs> <laughs> this side is so, rustic look, industrial. Like this that. side yeah. is gorgeously yeah. feminine. Yeah. My side of the bed, or your side of the bed. Right? Exactly. Mine's <laughs> a little messier. Yours a little nicer. I like it. Together, yeah. you're you do a fantastic job together. I think it's like a match made in heaven. No, I'm not forcing them into marriage, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you guys should be for, together forever.